Hello traders, Gary Wagner here just after 10 o'clock in Honolulu, 4 o'clock in New York. It is Friday, September the 4th, 2015. And this is a, the daily report for gold and silver, our weekend review. And what a week we have seen in the market. In essence, we saw this market drop tremendously from a value of above 1145 to where it currently sits at 1121 jobs report comes out and like an oscillating fan it switched back onto the belief that the fed will in fact begin rate hikes as early as this month if not next month first of all the gold just finishing up in the comex 1122.80 puts it down about a dollar 70 now there were some pretty wild swings in the market once the numbers were released and the best way to really illustrate that is the fact that when we look at a 15 minute line chart and that's what i've pulled up here it is quite easy to see when those numbers came out as you can see the market shoots up to about what 1226 and within a very, very short period of time, this is a 15 minute chart, moves back down to the session lows just below 1118. And then from there, we get the market slowly recuperating and meandering back to its close, which I said is roughly at 1122. Now that of course is just the action for the day. When we consider what we have seen this week, and of course we're looking at a weekly chart, this candlestick representing the week. We have the second now consecutive week in a row that's gone red, meaning lower prices. When you compare where the market opens on Monday and closes on Friday, we talked about the extreme high. We are closing near the lows of the week at around 1221. And we'll look at another chart to really see where that falls within various levels of support and resistance. So to do that, I pulled up a daily chart. Now on this daily chart, we have a couple of set of uh, fib retracements one retracement from approximately call it uh, 1232 down to 1071 and our second retracement is from this top up here at 1170 down to the same low we talked about the fact that we had what i believe to be a pretty critical area of resistance and that of course is based upon double harmonics here 38 percent and 61 percent and that is roughly at 1133 we also have a minor area this is a 50 percent retracement now it is a retracement from the smaller move here and 1123 comes in at a 50 percent retracement and that is precisely where we closed on the day now the next real level of support and strong support comes in a harmonics that really begins at around 1109 and terminates at around 1106 it is based upon this double harmonics here 21 and 38 percent collectively and so that is an area should this market open with some weakness of course we will be closed on monday due to labor day but should there be some weakness in the market that comes in this is truly where i expect if we will see support we would see it roughly in this area you can also see these series of tops right here so there is good technical historical precedents that would determine that if we saw the market fall that's probably where we would see it fall to roughly eleven hundred dollars per ounce now when we take a look at silver silver is just closing up now it is approximately uh, 10 35 in honolulu so we're getting near the end of the trading day we're looking at spot silver and it's trading off almost a full percent on the day 0.87 percent lower when we compare that to the net change in gold you can see that it's a much more dramatic net change however when we look at the day's activity and then the week's activity what you can see is unlike gold which definitively closed down on the week there was no doubt about that and we looked at that in a couple of different ways when we look at our weekly chart for silver really what we see is that it is almost a pure doji here and that the market had opened on monday and closed on monday roughly at 14.57 per ounce now considering that as recently as last week we had silver touching upon 1400 before really really taking off and recovering we did see a good recovery in silver off about 50 cents from the lows so we definitively have support 
roughly, I believe, at around 1445 in silver. This an extreme low in the market that was definitely taken out. And you can see by the real bodies of these, this being a daily chart here, let's go ahead and blow that up. But on a daily chart, we can definitively see that it, again, slowly meandered back up like we saw within the gold market. But we also can see these series of lows right in here in other words, points in which you were going to test whether or not this market was going to trade lower and in fact did not. You do get a series of higher lows and to some degree higher highs, not on a daily basis, but throughout the week. So I believe that next week we could see some good support in silver at around 1440 in terms of resistance that's still at around $15 per ounce. That is where I'm currently pegging resistance in silver. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. Have a great three-day weekend. We'll speak to you on Tuesday for another daily update review. Bye-bye.